Hi there, welcome to this Node Red tutorial in which we're going to make a bit more advanced look into Node Red and we're going to use external libraries, so not just installing nodes from the Node Red package manager, but to install any node from the Node.js repository, npm. And in our case, we're going to use it to edit this PDF right here and to add certain uh, information. So let's take a look at it. What we want to do is to add an image, which is our signature. Uh, we want to add some text like our name or our address or also a date into a PDF document. And all this using Node-RED. So what you need to know for now is that uh, this video is quite advanced, so if you're not so familiar with Node-RED yet, I would recommend to get more familiar with it first because it's going quite into depth. What we'll start with is by installing the required libraries so we can use them later in our Node-RED project. I've already, already created some code in Node-RED because it's quite an extensive uh, project, so uh, yeah, this will be linked, of course, as always in the description. We will go from this. First, we need to open our terminal or console, or if you're using Windows, you use CMD, and we will need to enter our node red base folder. It's really important that we do the installation of the required modules in there and not anywhere else because otherwise Node-RED won't be able to find the new added dependencies. So you will find this folder usually in your users section and it should be named uh, .node-red. Here it is and here you just run npm install and this is pdf lib that we're going to use. So this code right here. Press enter, wait until it's installed. In my case, it's already finished. So maybe in your case, it will take a bit longer. After it's finished, you can start your Node-RED and we will switch into the browser, reload. And yeah, as you can see, I've already created certain nodes, which I'm going to give you a short overview about. Uh, first up here, this is the section where we get our signature image. So in our case, this is this PNG right here, which has a signature inside. We set it to a flow variable that we are going to use then to edit our PDF. Right here, we get the buffer from this file right here. It's the empty PDF with no nothing written on it. And we're going to put it into this function, which is then going to, at the moment, just add this signature image and create a new file called edited PDF in which it's going to save it. So let's run it. First, we're setting the flow variable for the signature. And after we set the edited PDF, and if we take a look at now into the edited PDF, we see that here a signature has been added. We're going to expand this now by adding more information into the PDF. And first I'm going to give you an overview over how this function right here works. First, we get the PDF bytes, which is a buffer that we get from the uh, read file node from msg.payload. Also, we get the buffer from our signature image. Then we will use the library that we imported. And this is now something new and maybe a bit more complicated. Uh, here we're using an external library. So what we need to do in Node-RED is go to setup. And of course I've already did it, but what you need to do here under modules, you need to press add. And then here under module name, write PDF lib. It will import it as an already predefined variable name, but you can of course also change it to whatever you want. I will leave it as PDF lib. If we go back to the function now, we will be able to use this PDF lib. 
So bit of a heads up, sometimes in certain projects they import only certain parts of a library. In Node-RED this is a bit more difficult, so what we're going to use here is we're going to import the full library, the full dependency PDF lib. So if we use, like for example, this here is a class out of PDF lib, we always need to mention PDF lib dot and we can't just use just use a PDF document uh, as it's listed, for example, like this, it's often listed in some tutorials. So always, if you get some error here, uh, just write PDF lib in front and you will see that it will work. So first we're going to create a variable of the uh, class PDF document out of our PDF bytes that we got from the read file. And then here, this is the most important part of the function, which we're going to edit later. We loop through the pages by making pdfdoc.getpages.entries. You can check this all in the, uh, in the declarations of the PDF lib library. Here we're extracting the image bytes and we are putting them like you have to in PDF lib you have to first append the uh, informations from a picture to a page and afterwards right here you can place the image on the document. So you need to do two steps. In fact you could also put this one right here and just in implement it once. Uh, I put it intentionally down here. So if you for some reason have different images you want to process on different pages for whatever reason, you can do it here. Uh, because we only use one page of a PDF document, also this for loop is not really necessary, but it's good to have it if you want to process more than one page. So I will leave it in there. It doesn't really make a difference now. Uh, right here we will save the PDF document and then we will uh, parse it or give it to the next function which will write the new PDF file uh, and we will give it to it as a buffer. So right now let's add some text. We will add the text of the name right here. And first to do that we need to understand a little bit how this is set up. So when we want to put anything on the page, we just call page dot and here it's draw image. So we will put the signature image. We tell what we want to add and right here we give information on how we're adding it. In our case, we're adding it to the place 140 on the X axis and 510 on the Y axis. I will show you right now why this calculation is a bit strange and what I meant up here. So this is my tip for you because you need to place objects on the PDF. You need to have a certain way to find where to place them. In my case, I uh, found GIMP as a useful resource for that because GIMP has these rulers on the side and you can actually change the way of these rulers by changing here the uh, layout of the ruler. What we need is uh, the points PT. So if you have down here PT, it's correct. And then you can hover to a certain place. For example, right here, the signature, it's around 150 on the X axis and around 510 on the Y axis. You can see it down here in the corner. The problem now is the PDF lib library has its origin point, so 0, 0, on the lower left hand side, so right here. And as you can see, GIMP now shows 0 and 838, so the origin point of uh, GIMP is up here, so they are reversed. So what we need to do when we have here 510, we need to subtract from the total height of the page, which we do by page.getHeight, minus the amount that you want to do. You can check this calculation if you want, or you can just trust me that it works that way. Uh, yeah, 
So this is the place for the signature. We will add now a name and we will add it right here. So this is one around 130 and 333 on the y-axis. So what we do now is to write the code page dot draw text brackets and let's say our name max test and now we give the same or similar specifications as with draw image so i'm going to copy the x and the y we're going to define the x and the y so let's go back and check again it should be around uh, let's say 100 130 and 333 so 130 and on the y-axis 333 let's try if this works like this deploy and inject and let's check what happens to the edited pdf document and yes as we can see a name has been successfully added to this document so in the next step we are also going to add a date as well so page draw text and here we can do it a bit differently if you want to add a date you can use for example new date and then to local date string and here you can list your location for example germany like in which format you want the date to be and let's switch back to gimp and check the position of a date so it would be around 100 again let's take the same as before 100 130 on the x and let's take here 423 or 24 let's take 424 and also of course you want to add an address so let's add an address right here test street one check also the listing where it should be again we will use 130 and 300 378 so 378 and 130 so here we added the text information and we will save it deploy and let's check again if everything worked yes when we reopen we see that the street as well as the date has been added successfully so if you have any problems by implementing this just ask us in the comments it's quite a, a difficult task at the beginning uh, but it's really useful you can of course not just use a pdf library you can use any library that is available for node.js and you can use it in node.red as well i would generally recommend if you're familiar with node.js to test it first by creating a node.js file and only then use it in node.red because the debugging options are better in node.js directly but if you just use node red you can also do it like that i thank you a lot for watching today's video and i hope you have a great week